welcome back to my channel in this video i want to make a short review of my m6 that i bought approximately five months ago and i absolutely love the ownership of this car it has been a fantastic summer here in the state of washington perfect for convertible for five months i drove only 2000 miles because i have other cars but if i'm gonna tell you it has been completely stress-free ownership of course i'm gonna be lying so in this video i'm gonna point out a couple of things that happened during my ownership i'm gonna be completely honest and maybe this video gonna help somebody who's researching to buy the same uh, body style car and also other convertibles so let's just dive into it and i hope you guys like this video the very first issue that happened to me uh, if you guys are subscribed to my channel I bet you saw that video that my coils, two coils, uh, gave up on me and I had to swap spark plugs and coils and after that I didn't have any issues so it's not particular to this body style, it's uh, to this engine problem but uh, after that I didn't have any problems with engine or transmission. I'm still planning to do throttle actuators. Uh, right now I'm kind of super busy with my work, but uh, I'm gonna do it. And right now let me dive into the particular issue that I found on this body style. And it's gonna be probably related to all convertibles. I'm not sure about other cars, but I'm pretty sure they all use the same system. So if you guys follow me here and let me open my trunk, ta -dam, you can see I removed all the carpet covers, also I removed my amplifier and satellite receiver and the reason for this was this sound, let me play you this clip. So my car started developing this sound and I asked on a couple of forums what it might be and somebody uh, advised me to disconnect my battery and when I reached out to disconnect my battery in this compartment I saw water like over here and when I vacuumed my water out it was exactly this amount of water in my battery compartment and to make things worse this whole area like this tray where the amplifier and satellite receiver sits was all covered in water. It was not much, but it was enough to find some moisture and some water in my amplifier and satellite receiver. This is amplifier and this is a satellite module or satellite receiver. As you can see on the bracket where it was touching this metal to the bracket, you can see some residue. So the water was getting into that uh, compartment for some time and what i did i removed these parts of course as you can see they are removed right now i blew out water from all of these modules and dried them out and i connect them back and everything works right now there's no more this annoying sound and they are working right now but i'm testing my where the roof falls down area for leaks right now and i'm gonna show you a couple of things that i found on these cars that you have to take care of and let me just show you guys those things and it has to be not in completely hold it down position probably like so like this and now we have access to this uh, i would say not problematic area but maintenance area that some owners and my, me also miss and i missed it big time so until it started raining i didn't think about it or i didn't care but as you can see this is the tub where the soft uh, roof or soft top goes down and it's supposed to be completely sealed out from the rest of the car and there are two drainages on each side one is like over there uh, it's hard to see but there is one uh, over there and it's also the second one is over here you can see it and uh, these ones they require cleaning i neglected that and that's why i've got some moisture in my trunk area so this is just one of those things that 
all E64 uh, convertible owners have to remember. Just make sure, guys, those drains are clean. So what I did, I took like small plastic tube and uh, I blew some air through it and also I drained it with a clean water. And as of right now, it's been what? Probably like two months since I found this issue. I didn't have any water, but I'm still uh, testing uh, my drains because in the state of Washington, it rains a lot. And as of right now, I'm gonna keep my M6 in the garage, but right now our garage is a mess. We moved in like last year, almost exactly one year ago, but we're still figuring out space, uh, storage and everything. So in the future, this car will be stored in a garage, but as of right now, it only sits on a driveway. From this angle, you can see this is the drain that was leaking right over here. And of course, we have electronics like uh, amplifier and satellite radio module here. So iron started leaking and getting some moisture. So this is just like one of my flops, but I figured it out and I was lucky. I don't have to buy a new amplifier and also a new satellite radio, which I can live without satellite radio. I don't listen much to satellite radio, but that annoying sound from uh, amplifier was so crazy. That noise was so annoying until car would go into sleep uh, it would continue doing it through speakers so yeah just one of those things that e64 owners and convertible bmw owners have to look for and technically it is the same drainage system as on um, e61 like sun sunroof drains especially at the back area so that's the thing we have to look for but other than that, it has been beautiful five month ownership of this car. Absolutely love the experience, love uh, how it looks, how it drives. And um, honestly, I feel super lucky that I bought it. I got this car for less than $20,000. And to this day, I'm surprised that you get so much car for uh, this amount of money. And uh, when I got it, it was 70,000 miles. And right now it's 72 on the clock. And this is it guys, thank you for watching, just a small uh, 5 months ownership review of my M6 and I hope to see you on my channel and I'm gonna make more BMW related content pretty soon and it's gonna be also about my 5 series, there's some news coming about this car, <laughs> some positive and some negative news but yeah, stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Oh,